All right, so let's talk about is college a scam? Now, by definition, a scam is exhibiting some type of fraud or a dishonest scheme. Now, college in general is pretty upfront for the most part in telling you when you apply for a loan that you're going to be taking out a lot of money and then you're expected to pay it back over the course of time. Some loans can go up to 20 years or even longer, depending on how much you take out and what you're doing. Now, here's where people say college is a scam. A lot of people will say it's a scam because that from kindergarten to 12th grade, they were promoted and told that their whole lives of going to high school, middle school, elementary and whatnot, that college, if you go to college and graduate, you'll get a job, get a degree, and it's something that no one can take from you and you'll make money. Well, the reality is they found out sooner than later once they obtained to attempt to go to college, the ones who didn't finish or finish found out they instead had more massive debt and the degrees that they majored in, they're not even working in those fields or if they are, it's not even paying you the amount of money that you took out for a loan. So basically, you got more debt than you do income, and it's not even paying you market value. The vast majority of college degrees will not pay you market value. So this is why most people say it is a scam. Now, for me, I don't think that that's the reason why it's a scam. I think that's just people being informed on something and not doing the research to understand that that college uh, expectation is true for certain fields. Are you going to tell a doctor or an engineer or an attorney or, you know, whatever type of profession you're in, are you going to tell them that college is a scam? Because those people are making really good income. So instead of calling it a scam for that reason, if I were going to say it was a scam, I would say if there are loans that are misleading people with an intent to, you know, be falsif to falsify information, then yes, that aspect of college can be a scam. And there have been colleges who have misled people taking out loans saying that they make this amount of money once they obtain a degree and they come to find out it is not nowhere in line with market value. So when people are given a false premise and they go in in good faith, then yes, that can be a scam. But majority of colleges are not going to do that because they know that there's liability to doing that. There's a few examples to show. So majority of colleges will be upfront on the fine print that you are signing a loan on, and they'll straight up tell you that this is going to be a long tenure debt that you're going to have, and you're not guaranteed to, you know, get a job or whatnot, in a nutshell. So you have to read that fine print. Now, <clears throat> I will say this. Um, I do think that there are a lot of people who have gone off to college, and unfortunately, the majority have not got to pay with the market, but then the exceptions to the rules have. Like I mentioned earlier, those nurses, those doctors, those attorneys, People who uh, go to those type of degrees, they make pretty good income. But the average person with a college degree might not make as much as, say, like someone who becomes a plumber or they get a certification or some type of license and do real estate or an insurance agent. They might make more income than a college degree starting out and over the long tenure, and they do it at less debt. So if you want to still say it's a scam uh, because it's, it's not giving you income, I have to... Have, I just have a different perspective because I've seen people and know doctors and nurses, they would never say college is a scam because it benefits them. I think it's, I think it's just that at the end of the day, you have to be informed on about college and the business side of it and how, you know, what it does to impact your financial life. And as long as you're aware of that and you have that knowledge and information, they might not do the greatest job of conveying it sometimes, but it is available. You just have to kind of go and read it on your own and then ask those questions. And then once you do that, you can make, the, make an assessment if college is worth investing in or not. I will never deter anyone from going to college. I myself am a college graduate, but I will never deter somebody to not go to college as well. I think you should do what's best for you based on uh, thorough research.